Hey gang, welcome back to Pardee Shop Shenanigans. I'm Bob in my dirty shirt. Check out the swag. Yep, reach out, I can hook you up. Hey, it was a beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest. The sun was out, got a lot of work done. That's why I got this nice uh, tint going on here. Um, Hopefully a short video I did earlier brought you here to Party Shop Shenanigans, where I was talking about a flashing amber LED light and the idea of using that for uh, out on the trail, not just on a piece of construction equipment, but maybe on your Jeep when you've got a flat tire, maybe, well, on your Jeep when you're under the hood, because that's what we do under Jeeps often. Stick around, I'd like to show you a product from a company called Super Re Lighting that I think is pretty cool. Okay, so the good folks at Supri Lighting, they reached out to me a while back and uh, they said they've got these lighting products that would be kind of cool. Would I be interested in trying one out? And I said, hey, I'm game. I'll try most anything once, twice, if I like it. So what they sent me was um, this package here that has uh, the LED light, it's got a, it's nice metal frame construction, um, hard plastic lens, hard plastic top here, charger and a keychain, which is also a remote control. Um, pretty nice setup, pretty easy to use. It's uh, magnetic and the magnet is uh, rubber coated, so this won't scratch the paint on your vehicle. And then it's got this uh, rubberized uh, suction cup, if you will, to go over it, keep water out, and keep things clean. It's also kind of nice, this tab right here, um, once you've put it on the vehicle, instead of having to yank this off, you grab it right here and up it comes. Pretty handy. Uh, you do also have this remote control. You can turn it on and off and adjust the different settings for the different strobe settings. I'll show you those in a moment. And then it comes with this 12-volt uh, charger for your uh, cigarette lighter. It's uh, just a, a typical 12-volt uh, one pin connector goes in the back here, nothing fancy. Um, I'd say if there's one drawback, I kind of wish that it had a USB charger just because in my vehicle, I've got a USB uh, port that's got like a, a 12 volt port rather. Um, that has got three USB plugs at the back for different devices, but this works really well. I've plugged it in, charged it fully, turned this on. I let it run for a full seven hours before the battery died, which I thought was pretty good. And the whole idea here is that rather than thinking of this as just a piece of construction equipment or heavy equipment, why not use this on uh, your four-wheel drive? Why not have it in the trunk of your car going on a trip? Uh, maybe you're out camping and somebody has an emergency. Uh, say you pull over on the side of the road to change a tire. Uh, everybody turns on their flashers, but do you really pay attention to those flashers uh, red brake lights flashing on the side of the road, not so much. But when you see something uh, strobe, you definitely pay attention to that. And especially if it's a bright, bright orange, like what uh, you see on the construction equipment. So my thought is, if you have this behind the seat of your uh, vehicle, you're out on the road in your Jeep and you get a flat tire, uh, maybe you're in a high traffic area and there's lots of trees, you put this up on your roof, you turn it on, people are going to have a chance to see you. Now this does have eight different settings. Rotate this direction, rotate this direction. Now we do the same thing faster, different levels of attention. We get this strobe, a nice slow steady strobe. We get a faster strobe. And then we get a really fast strobe. Then we get back to the rotation. Um, you can see it's pretty bright when I flash it right there at the, the screen. And it has pretty good visibility. Now, obviously visibility is going to depend upon your surroundings, if you're in trees and brush and all that. But at nighttime, this is gonna reflect off of things around it and really help make you more visible. One of the things I like about this is if you were to lose this remote control or you didn't wanna carry it around with you, you can operate this right from the button on the top. Turn it on, you push the button, and you can cycle through all those settings just by pressing the button on the top. Now if I press and hold it down, it turns it off. So pretty slick unit really here. I think it's something worth checking out. Um, go check out supere.com slash bob. Now that's important, go to supere.com slash bob because then they will know I sent you to them. 
that's really important. Also, if you were to order this product um, through that link, you can get a discount, 25% discount. Here's the discount code on the bottom here. I think it's SuperE25. I'll put that in the comments section below as well. And uh, give it a shot, would you? Check out their website for some other great lighting products for your Jeep, for uh, motorcycles. Uh, just a lot of really neat stuff at SuperE.com. All right, gang, thanks for joining me. I hope that those little samples of how the Super E Amber LED light works out in daylight and dark conditions gave you a sense of just how valuable this could be. Maybe you're a delivery driver. I won't use any of those names of the delivery drivers that do food uber fast or that deliver online products amazingly fast, but uh, you know who you are. Uh, this would be great to have in your vehicle, so when you're pulled over uh, to, to make a delivery, you turn it on, people know you're there. Um, they know to go around your vehicle instead of just your flashers. I think you'd like it. Also, if you've got a teenager or a young adult out there, um, maybe a new driver, and if they were to have an emergency and pull over, if this is in the car, throw it on the roof, turn it on. It creates a safer situation. These aren't just for construction. That's everything for now. Remember, go out and make somebody smile. You both deserve it. Bob out.